Natsuo, the third son of the Todoroki family, a quiet boy, troubled due to his hard childhood and worried about his family, a boy who along with his brothers and his mother suffered the psychosis of Endeavor, who in his eagerness to reach the number one ended up screwing up the life of his whole family. What's up guys? I'm Mr. Botaku and let's talk about Natsuo Todoroki. Natsuo was born on July 1st under the sign of cancer, he was the second boy in the family and the third child of Enji and Rei. Enji longed to have a son who could surpass All Might as a hero, more than longing, the guy was actually obsessed in an unhealthy way with surpassing the blonde and therefore wanted to have a son who would inherit both his and his mother's quirkiness. However, Natsuo was born with only Rei's powers, he was quickly discarded by his father, as were his older siblings Toya and Fuyumi. Although at first Enji was happy with his family eventually his obsession with begetting the one who will surpass All Might grew exponentially. And three years after Natsuo's birth, his little brother Shoto was born. Shoto was the culmination of his long for experiment, his final product. From the birth of Shoto, Enji focused on him to protect and train him as his successor and future hero number one. But in doing so, he rejected and pushed aside his other three children, treating them as mere trash. At every opportunity he implied that they were mere failures in his experiment, they were failed products. Natsuo grew up with his older siblings, having a good relationship with them, especially with Toya, who suffered the most from his father's rejection. He was born with a fire quirk more powerful than his father's, so he was trained by him. However, when it was discovered that his body was not compatible with his quirk, Enji suddenly stopped training him and urged him to stop being a hero. However, Toya refused to do so, and one of the reasons his parents decided to try to have a son who would inherit his quirks was in hopes of convincing Toya to give up, since his quirk caused him to burn out. Toya wanted some attention from his father, going so far as to try to attack baby Shoto. He was stopped before he could harm anyone, but because of this incident, Enji strictly forbade any of his children to go near Shoto, just turning to look at him was already a source of annoyance for Enji, who was all the time overtraining little Shoto. Natsuo had a very close relationship with Toya, as he often turned to his younger brother for emotional support and asked him why he existed. Toya was emotionally and mentally broken due to his father's constant rejection. Natsuo witnessed all of this, and from then on he had nothing but resentment towards his father. On one occasion when Natsuo was eight years old, Toya tried to talk to him, complaining about his father, however it was quite late at night and Natsuo wanted to sleep, so he told Toya to bother Fuyumi about his problems from time to time. Toya didn't take it well, feeling that Natsuo, the only one he thought he could count on, was abandoning him. One night, Natsuo and Fuyumi hid in a corner, crying, while Enji abused Rei, blaming her for not stopping Toya's training. That would not be the last time Natsuo heard Rei and Shoto's cries. Then the inevitable happened, in the mountains where Toya could not control the flames of his quirk, causing a large forest fire. In that place the boy was training in order to get some attention from his father, that afternoon Toya Todoroki was declared dead. It was believed that he had been completely burned to death, as only part of his jaw was found at the scene. Although we later learned that he did not die and became a sexy villain who does not bathe. This loss affected the family too much, and despite being an accident, Natsuo held his father responsible for this, as it was a consequence of seeking some recognition from his father. After losing his Anakin Natsuo lost his mother, as Rei was psychologically broken by the loss of her son and Enji's constant mistreatment. Enji remained obsessed with isolating and training Shoto, neglecting Natsuo for the rest of his childhood. Natsuo barely saw his father around, considering him a stranger and, in turn, being apathetic towards him. Fuyumi had to take on the role of mother. Thus Natsuo and Fuyumi supported each other to get ahead despite the family situation. When they came of age, 
Fuyumi convinced her brother that he could handle the family's circumstances and that he should go out and pursue his own goals. Then Natsuo left that misnamed home to study at the university, far from the world of heroism, so he lived with his father, he had little desire to become a hero who mistreats his wife and children, so he decided to study a normal career and obtained a degree in medical welfare. Years later we see Natsuo and Fuyumi visiting her mother in the hospital, there they talk about Endeavor's promotion to hero number one, Natsuo declares that she has not been able to forgive her father after all the damage he has caused to the family, and is surprised when Rei mentions that the latter visited her and left her a flower. Rei claims that Enji is dealing with some internal problem, and that she loves him despite all the abuse because he is a good man after all. Never mind the beatings and insults. As they were leaving the asylum, he and Fuyumi saw a news report of his father fighting a special nomu named Hood. Natsuo he was horrified to see how his father was being overwhelmed by the villain's attacks, and Eber actually looked in mortal danger, Natsuo kept watching the broadcast wondering why Endeavor was still fighting. He frantically said that he should give up and retreat, as he did with his children. Fuyumi told him that his father is too stubborn a person to do so. Finally Endeavor with the help of Hawks manages to defeat the Nomu, and despite all the resentment the Todoriko siblings are relieved that their father survived. After this event the Todoroki have a family dinner a little uncomfortable, their Natsuo finally brought out everything he had inside him, Enji wanted to talk to him, but Natsuo refused, he blamed and reproached his father for what happened with Toya, he said that he did not know much about his little brother Shoto because of him and ends up saying that he is unable to change what he feels just because. Enji says he will face his past to atone for it, and then Natsuo leaves. Then they have another family dinner where Deku and the Kashin are there and it also gets awkward, but as they leave the place he is conveniently kidnapped so Enji and the boys save him and Natsuo finally gives his arm to his father, then there is a family conflict when Dobby reveals his true identity and Natsuo watches in horror as his Anakin is now a sexy zombie. Then his father tearfully apologizes to his family for all the damage he caused, and although he holds his father responsible for Toya, Natsuo takes some responsibility for not acting when he should have, and maybe then Toya wouldn't have ended up a bad guy. After a tough family history, Natsuo has become a well-known doctor, his family is getting closer, he is on good terms with his siblings, and his mother is finally out of the asylum. Apart from the Dobby Toya affair, Natsuo's life seems to be on the right track at last. Tell me in the comments what you thought of this beautiful story, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and we'll see you in a future video, bye.